Hello everyone, so in this video, let us talk about a problem from lead code. It's an easy level problem. The problem name is count asterisk. So you're given a string S where every two consecutive bars, as you can see like this, this is the bar, are grouped into a pair. So every two consecutive bars are grouped as a pair. Now, in other words, the first and second bar makes a pair, the third and fourth bar makes a pair. Then you just return the number of asterisks in S, excluding the asterisks between the pairs, between every pair. So let's say, let's take an example for this and just have to count out how many number of asterisks are there, which are not it be between any pair. So if we just take this as an example, let us just copy this out. Now what you can see here is that in this one particular pair is this the first bar that is this the second bar that is this now another pair is this and this the first bar like this is the third bar and the fourth bar and you get the point so any asterisk between these numbers are like any of these pairs okay are excluded so all these counts are like excluded all these characters excluded any asterisk that is apart from this is included and that you just have to, have to count so there are two asterisks as you can see so answer for the first one is two Check it out answer for this. So how you can check it out? It's very simple now. I hope you understand what the problem statement is. You can pause this video and try to think of it of it. Oh, but what you can simply see is that for the first bar, okay, wherever you find out the first bar, from that point you will not count any asterisks because it means that the current bar is like the current pair is starting forming. So what I can do is that I can just iterate over from the left to right. Put everything. And the very simple approach which I thought of is okay, let's move from left to right over the string. Whenever I find a first bar, which means that the first pair is started to form. So all the characters after that I will not exclude I will not include in any of the calculation. Whenever I find a second bar, after that I will include all the words in the calculation. At, at the third bar, I will not include. At the fourth bar, I will include. So it means that after the even count of bars, so when there is you can just store a variable that is bar count. So bar. Okay, that, that is zero. Wherever you see a bar, you will inc like increment this variable by one. Okay, when it become even, because even means that you have included a particular pair. Then uh, all the elements apart from that are included. And when it is not even, which means that it is odd, which means that a particular pair is forming. In that scenario, you will not include all any other character inside the uh, any inside the string because that is inside a pair. And that's it. That you just have to count out how many asterisks are there inside this whole scenario and just print. That is bar. That should number of asterisk that you have to just check out. Just iterate over the whole string. If it is a bar, if the i character is a bar, include like increment the bar. If it is not a bar, we will just check out that I will only increment the asterisk if it is an equal, like if it is even number, if the number of bars are even, which means that we are out of a pair. And whatever i character I am on, it is asterisk. So if it is asterisk and it is not inside a pair, in that scenario only we will include like increment the total number of asterisks we have because it is outside the pair and we just print on the that's it. So just this is just an O of N approach, nothing much complicated as well. That's all the logic and the code part for this particular problem. If you still have any doubts, you can mention in the comment box of this video. I will see you in the next one.